This hurricane season lived up to the forecast. It was more active than average for sure. Powerful Ida was one of 21 storms that were named as tropical storms or hurricanes. Now that 21, that's a high number. That's the third most on record. But if we just look at that one high number, we're missing some of the story. Technology that lets us detect the storms has steadily improved over the decades, from satellites in the 1960s and 70s to more recent tools like GPS and scatterometers. As tools have improved, the number of observed storms has gone up. You can see the upward trend in this graph from the National Hurricane Center. But another way to look at it is how much energy the storms generated. So an index called the accumulated cyclone energy takes into account how strong a storm gets and how long it lasts. So looking at that index all the way back to the 1800s, you can see it does increase, but it's not nearly as dramatic as the number of storms. Now last year, there were a record 30 named storms, but look at the energy. It was high, but not even in the top 10 on record and nowhere near the ACE from 2005. And this year, ACE was above average, but it wasn't in the top 10. So what's going on? Well, thanks to those better tools, we now notice more storms, including what we call shorties. Those are storms that last just two days or less. And looking at the number of shorties, that has gone way up over the years. And it makes sense if you think about it. A quick storm that happens way out in the ocean might have gone unnoticed before we had tools to find it and measure it. Like, for example, subtropical storm Teresa, which formed this year east of Bermuda and lasted just 18 hours. Now, last year, seven of the 30 storms were shorties. This year, nine were shorties. So if you were just to remove those from the lists, the number of named storms gets cut down by about a third. Just to see what happens, let's compare the number of storms in the past decade to say the 1960s, a memorable decade for hurricanes with Betsy and Camille, weather satellites were just starting. Now, here are the numbers for the 1960s. And now in orange are the numbers of storms since 2010. Note the big increase in named storms, which includes the shorties, but there's much less change for hurricanes and major hurricanes, meaning the biggest jump is in those weaker storms that were easier to miss before we had advanced tracking tools. So yes, there are more named storms. Yes, many are strong. And yes, we're still getting hit by them, but there's a little more to it than just the number of storms.